Hello everyone, welcome back to Vegan Explores. I'm Charlotte and I travel the world with my husband Corey. In this video, we're going to be sharing with you all of the best vegan spots that we found exploring the city of Brussels. We have come for brunch and we have come to the avocado show. This place is obviously all about avocados. All of the dishes have avocados in them. They're actually all a little bit different. So I've gone for a mango tango. It's mango and avocado on toast with a curry hummus. I'm very nervous. I love all those elements, but I'm not sure together. Corey's gone for a spirulina pancakes and we've gone for some cauliflower wings because we know we like cauliflower wings. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. I really want it to be yummy because I'm hungry. Isn't that so pretty? I love pretty food. Um, wasn't too much mango actually. I thought it was gonna be like heaps of mango, but actually I'm excited to try this. Corey's pancake stack is massive. Um, I'm gonna go in. Okay, mango, curry hummus, avocado on toast. Peculiar, but very yummy. I really like it. And one thing that we've got to do while we're in Brussels is try their Fritz, which is their Belgian fries. Um, we haven't tried them yet, which is crazy because I'm a potato addict. Um, there's a couple of choices for us. One that we saw when we first got here, crazy busy, but there's also one that got recommended to us. Um, we're not sure where we're gonna go yet, we'll see. We have had success. I've got some sauce. There's so many different types of sauce to choose from. They just have oodles and oodles of sauce, but this one was vegan as well as the tomato sauce. It's very busy in there. It's a very small little uh, frittery, but um, yeah, I guess that's a good sign. I'm waiting to dig in. Oh no. Is it spicy? A little bit. Well, they taste like chips to <laughs> me. I'm not sure what the big deal is. They, yeah, they just taste like chips. vegan waffle, vegan waffle. Um, so we have been craving, we're craving crepes all through pan, so we didn't make it to the vegan crepe place, but we have found a vegan waffle place, so we get to enjoy this beautiful Belgian dessert with chocolate sauce. I feel incredibly guilty because I had to put about a quarter of it in the bin. It was just a bit heavy and sickly. I think if it was like half the size, it probably would have been ideal. Um, Corey ate it all, but now his stomach hurts. Um, so it was yummy. For us, it was probably just a bit too big, a bit too sickly. Maybe with like fruits on top and just a tiny bit of chocolate drizzle probably would have been a better option rather than a load of chocolate sauce and some really stodgy waffle. But if you're looking for a vegan waffle, you can join in. It was tasty. Just, oh, I think we're gonna go find somewhere to sit down. <laughs> coffee time. Now that place is an all plant-based place. Uh, they specialize in nut butter actually and I had to try their praline mocha. Uh, finding a plant-based mocha is a treat. Oh my god that's so good. It's so good. That tastes like a um, you know one of those seashell chocolates with the praline. Belgium is famous for its praline and um, yeah this is just another example of Belgium being so creative and making some praline tasty goodies. So for dinner we have come to Le Botanis. This is a completely vegan and organic 
um, food place and you get to make your own bowl. It also can choose off the menu. So I've made my own and Corey's gone for a chili dinner carne, so no meat. And I've gone for a mix of loads of different things, bolognese and a Moroccan stew and steamed veggies. They have more than one cafe actually around Brussels, so it must be good. Let's try it out. Well, that was delicious. I think we really needed such a wholesome meal after our massive day exploring Brussels in this heat. Um, we were really knocked out this afternoon. So uh, having some really good food was lovely. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Very full, but probably a lot better for me than a waffle with chocolate sauce. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to follow more of our vegan adventures around the world.